Hi, welcome to another Who She Is Now video. This is on one of my favorite eye colors, Espresso. Um, it is a mineral eye color from Mary Kay that is just so multitasking that I use it for so many things and I love it. So I think it's kind of a key must have for anyone. So I decided to make a whole video dedicated to it. So as you can see, this eyebrow, it's actually done with espresso. Um, just plain espresso. I know it looks gray and it looks like it shouldn't match you, but somehow this gray works on everyone for their eyebrows. It just blends and magically <laughs> captures you. So it's very natural looking when done with the eyebrow. Hope you can see that. Um, it gives you a nice arch and definition while remaining light and just nice even. So um, what I also like to use it for is I like to use it as an eyeliner. So I could use it with angled eyeshadow brush, just like this one, and just tap it in and tap off excess. And then I'll come right above my lash line and just dot it into place. So it'll just fill in my lashes just a bit giving them a little extra volume and oomph looking while remaining, uh, what's one of my favorite words? Oh, there we go, natural. <laughs> so, when you wanna just place it right into the lash line just to fill out the spaces and give your lashes a little more. So you can see just the slight difference that it gives. And if you want a little more of a difference there, you can use a smudger brush that is just about yay thick. And you would once again, tap it in, tap excess off, and come right into the lashes. Now because this brush is thicker, it's just gonna leave more product and that's all there is to it. But once again, you're gonna come right into the lash line and blend it in there. There you go. And now your lashes have a little more volume. You can even just kind of cattail it up at the end there to bring the corner of your lashes up. And there you are. So it has just a little bit more and giving that shadow behind the lashes there makes your lashes appear thicker. So that is use number two for it as an eyeliner. You can even use it on the bottom of your eye. Just blend it right into the lash line very lightly and it'll just give your lower lash line just a little bit of definition while not looking too crazy or dark or anything. So it'll frame your eyes a little bit more, give them a little more sultry. And then if you want to go a step further, I use it all the time with a multitude of colors. I'll just use this in my crease, whether I use um, brown or black or green or blue or any color on my lid itself. If I want just a little shadow in the crease, I'll use espresso. So I'll go in with my crease brush, just load it up, tap it off to make sure there's not too much. And then I'll start right at the corner of my eye in the crease and just brush inwards and just dab it in to make sure that it's blended and just going where you want it and then blend it up for my eye shape i try to keep some space um, because i have a lot of eye room so i'll try to definitely leave the brow bone bare and just slightly gradient it up towards the brow bone so now there's this whole shadow there and it makes your lashes and your eye appear with a lot more dimension so i'll do it on the other eye too just start at the corner there and just brush inwards and tap it in to get it just where you want it and then when it's placed where you want it you can be a little more willy-nilly and just blend it out like that leaving the brow bone bare and trying to create that gradient you want it deepest color at the crease so you want to get most of the product off the brush in the crease and then blend it up so now my eyes have that whole third dimension going on so it still appears natural it's not too much or anything but it does give me that little more depth gives my lashes more of a thick feeling to them so that's my uses for espresso. Absolutely love it. Recommend it and have a great day. Thank you.